why is Ed Fenninger taking down videos that disagree with him and where he gets rebuked, strongly rebuked? Um, my video that I made against him uh, was flagged. I mean, before I could take any legal action at all, next thing I know, I'm getting a community strike against my channel because of uh, hate speech or some kind of a, uh, um, uh, what was the thing? Uh, I'll, I'll put up the notice here. You can see it for yourself. Pause it and read it. Uh, harassment, stalking, um, inappropriate whatever behavior and things like this um, before I could take any kind of legal action at all. Uh, apparently he's trying to hide something. Not so sure of himself. All right? Instead of waiting till legal action came from me and he could fight it because he's innocent. If you're innocent, what are you worried about? Uh, no, he goes and gets ahead of me and puts a community violation strike on me. But it doesn't end there. You say, well, because you're a crazy nut, you're, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'm the crazy nut. Okay, I've made probably less than 10 videos exposing Fenninger, but he just makes hundreds and hundreds of, you know, videos exposing me. More on that later. But it's not just me. A uh, friend of the ministry here, Chad Wilson, uh, brought out four videos. Very small little channel, not a threat to anybody. Okay? But he called out Ed Fenninger, him against Fenninger. See, Brother Chad's uh, former infantry, all right? He's a real man, in other words. And he brought out four videos, I'll show the screenshot of it here, uh, calling out Ed Fenninger, one of which Brother Chad read from the Catholic Catechism and showed that it's exactly what Ed Fenninger teaches. I mean, pretty much word for word. And all of a sudden, uh, I was talking with Chad, and he said that uh, he went into work, and he said he noticed that his views were basically cut in half on the videos, and he thought, that's kind of weird goes into a meeting, comes out of the meeting at his job, and the videos are gone off of his channel. No notifications, no nothing, no explanation from YouTube. The videos are deleted. All four videos against Ed Fenninger. Now I'll show you more proof. Here's, here's one I watched. I'll show you this is in my watch history. You can see the thing there. It's been removed. Just one of them. Okay, I can show the other ones, but, you know, there you go. And... So he thought, okay, I'm just, you know, maybe something happened there. Maybe I pushed the wrong button or I don't know. So he thought, I'm going to re-upload the thing. Especially the one where he talks about the catechism with Ed. Tries to re-upload it and YouTube sends him this notice. Let me show you right here. Oh, the same thing that I got. Cyberbullying. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of weird. Because if Ed Fenninger is right... Why is he removing not just my videos, but uh, another brother that's against him and showing his Catholic papal leanings with this, this Trinity thing? Hmm. Interesting. Because, I, you know, different videos I've seen with uh, Fenninger, he wears a USMC, United States Marine Corps thing. Never seen any proof that he was ever part of the Marines, but that's another issue. But uh, I've known Marines. Um... Most of the Marines I've ever known in the years, I used to be in ministry with one, uh, Sergeant Jesse Dulesky, and uh, was my, we were, you know, partners in Bible Believers Fellowship there, and uh, kind of pastor and assistant pastor, or whatever, you, two elders actually was a, the whole deal. We went out and did a lot of door-to-door -door and everything else. He was a real man. Um, he wouldn't have done any kind of a, you know, cyberbullying type of a thing, uh, but Fenninger does. Uh, kind of makes me wonder if he's actually a real Marine. I mean, maybe he just got his sweatshirt out of Goodwill or something out of the bargain bin. I don't know. Never seen proof of it. And uh, I wouldn't think a Marine would have a problem with a man getting angry and yelling at him. That's kind of what you go through in basic training, but that's another issue. But, you know, my heart's desire in this whole thing, you know, people say, oh, Brian's such a hypocrite because, you know, he's exposed a lot of people now that he's being exposed. Uh, hello, what planet... Have you been living on for the last 10 years? Uh, now that I'm being exposed, uh, I've been, quote unquote, exposed by people for ever since I've been online. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have, quote unquote, exposed me. Uh, atheist websites, all kinds of websites, all kinds of discussion forums and everything else. People have been attacking me for years. All right. What I get ticked off about and why I got angry in the video is because people were impersonating my channel. And pretending to be me. That is a dirty, low-handed little scheme. So I got mad and I talked like a man. Thought Fenninger could handle that. But I talked like a man 
And what's he do? He puts cyberbullying out there. So now there's a violation strike, which I have appealed, and YouTube's doing nothing about my appeal. I haven't heard back anything. But you see, it's kind of funny because I was originally saying this, is, this guy is stalking and harassing because he just makes video after video after video. Hey, why don't you just preach the Word of God? You know, I mean, there's a thought right there. But, you know, my statement was that this is harassment and stalking. This goes beyond exposing. All right. You can expose stuff that I do. That's fine. But I personally have never exposed anybody where I watch every video that they put out. Okay, that's called obsessive compulsive disorder. That is mental illness and it can lead to psychotic behavior. All right, that's a dangerous thing. It's not even healthy. I mean, do you, peop you people that just watch all of Fenninger's videos, what are you getting out of it? Are you being challenged to go out and tell people about Jesus Christ and preach the gospel? I don't think so. You're just looking for the latest gossip on me. I'm not worth it. Can you please get that through your thick heads? I am not worth worth you looking at everything I'm doing. Going over to my Patreon page and making little things that you're going to infiltrate my Patreon page. Why? Why? It's weird. <laughs> I think to myself, okay. You know, Acts chapter 5, verse 38. Some advice for you. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest haply ye be found even to fight against God. You know, people have found that over the years. God is for this ministry, and I know it frustrates people so much to think about that. Um, we've been attacked. We have been slandered more than probably any other Bible-believing preacher out there. Uh, there's been some real nasty stuff said about me, nasty stuff said about my wife, and I'm sure about my son, and people will stoop to any level, even using sort of military tactics and things like that to try and mess my channel up. And yet the Lord keeps prospering us. Yet we keep going on and forward and everything else. The Lord keeps showing stuff to us. Truth keeps coming out. We keep seeing people getting saved. Tremendous amount of fruit from the ministry. It's incredible. And, you know, I just would like you goons out there to realize... Uh, if you ever decide to, to scheme and do whatever else, little things and things to shut my YouTube channel down, um, I really recommend you don't do that. You see, because what it's going to do is make me even more famous, right? Because it happened with Sermon Audio. I was on Sermon Audio for a little bit. I had a brother that was taking care of it. He'd put my studies up on there and whatever. And the narrow-minded bigots over at Sermon Audio um, decided that my wife's statements in our natural free birthing for Bible-believing Christians, uh, that was her statements were a bit too much for sermon audio. And, you know, Bill Nooncaster was a guy's name, um, little tool of the devil over there at sermon audio, um, tell him I said so. And, you know, I'll probably get strike for that too. That's cyberbullying. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. But, you know, this, this guy comes out and, and he lies to me. He says, we've gotten complaints. I say, okay, can I face my accusers? It's what the Bible teaches. Let me face my accusers. He says, I can't give out the names. We didn't actually get any complaints. <laughs> I mean, I got the proof. I show the emails. And what happened after that? We get kicked off of Sermon Audio. At first, it was don't post any more things. And it was, oh, we're actually going to have to ask you to leave. After I exposed, exposed Bill Nooncaster. What happened? Subscriber base went way up. Support for the ministry. I mean, everything just went crazy. And, you know, what do you think is going to happen if all of a sudden I get kicked off of YouTube? Millions and millions of people have seen my videos. A lot of people. A lot of websites know about me. A lot of things and whatever else. All of a sudden, I'm too controversial for YouTube. Don't, don't kick you know, me off of YouTube, okay? Don't, don't stop my YouTube channel because it's just going to make things more busy for me. All right? Okay? <laughs> you know? And, you know, the other thing I want to say, too... Um, Future plans for the ministry do not include YouTube as my whole thing that I'm doing, whatever else. Um, I've had to censor a lot of my speech to be on YouTube because I realize that YouTube does not follow the U.S. copyright laws, specifically Section 107, the Fair Use Clause. And I understand that there's implications there and whatever else for YouTube. I mean, it's just, I understand they're in kind of a weird spot. I'll have some mercy there for the YouTube people. 
but they're definitely disobeying certain laws and, and limiting people's freedom of speech and whatever else, and there's some liberal bias there. I understand all that stuff, okay? I understand. But I'm actually starting to work. I'll just let a little bit of a, you know, little secret here out of the ministry. We're starting to work on some offline things. You see, we get a lot of correspondence through the mail. I mean, it's looking, there's a whole pile of letters right there on top of some books. Uh, people sending me, you know, books and here's a whole, you know, book and letters and things and just, we get so much stuff I can't even barely keep ahead of it. And we're getting a lot of letters from people saying, you know, we really wish that you could do things more offline. That's not YouTube or Patreon or whatever else. We'd like to, could you go back to making DVDs like this up here? Well, um, we got some plans. And you see, when I go back to that, when I can start doing things offline videos, it's going to be unplugged, all right? I'm not going to have to worry about a bunch of little people, you know, getting offended and calling me a cyber bully and uh, trying to shut my channel down on YouTube. All right, so if it ever comes to it that I get kicked off of YouTube, I'm here now and I'm trying to put videos out for free and all that stuff. But uh, going to be doing some things in the future that are going to be offline. And then I can be a lot more controversial. So you want to push for that? You're too thin-skinned to take some rebuke and whatever else, uh, whoever you may be. Um, you know, Fenninger or any of your little clones or anything else out there. Well, okay. Then go ahead and push things. But you're just going to make me more radical. So I've been told for years that I have a persecution complex. So I'm kind of going with that, you know. Um, you see, I read in my Bible where it says that if you're persecuted, then there's great blessing. Um, I'm to rejoice and leave for joy in that day because my reward in heaven is going to be great. Paraphrasing, of course. But uh, so you see, I, I got this thing in my head now, you know. Now my channel's been, had a little community strike to it and everything else. So I'm being persecuted. So I, I'm taking this as a great blessing and all that, you know, and, and everything. So, you know, you want to keep doing it. You're just going to kind of feed into my mental condition here, you know. And you're going to make me want to fight more. I just, I, I love that. I see this thing with my enemies and they say, he's almost finished. He's almost finished. You know, uh, 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 no, I'm not. You're just making me more radical. So, I'm um, going to end this video now. And uh, just, you know, just saying about the thing that Ed Fenninger, you know, before I could take any legal action against the guy, before I could even think, he's already calling me a cyber bully. Cyber bully, cyber bully. And the liberals that run YouTube and Google and everything else are agreeing with him. And my appeal means nothing. And the brother, Chad Wilson, he gets his videos taken down. Four videos taken down. Hmm, tough guy there, Fenninger. But the, I guess I'm a cyber bully again. Oh, you know, I wasn't smiling as much as I should have been in the video. Oh, man, that just, oh, oh. You know, go suck your thumb, all right? Just, you know, go, go to the counselor and you can lay there on the sofa and maybe he'll let you hold a teddy bear and whatever. Cyber bullying again. See, isn't that terrible? <laughs> See, I'm smiling. I'm laughing now. See? See? You know? See, you shouldn't feel threatened by me. But, uh, Got some good stuff coming out here. All these pages of notes. We're going to have some fun. Some studying of the Bible, which my enemies don't know how to do on their own. So that is going to be it for this video. And uh, for those of you who do faithfully support the ministry, thank you. We continue to pray for us. And um, we'll see you in some upcoming videos that are going to be really interesting. Thank you for watching.